I've come to see an Israeli firm which claims it can access data on thousands of different mobile phone models for law enforcement agencies in pursuit of criminals. They've given me this phone, I've taken it away, I've put on a new password and I've stuck my fingerprint there as a way of getting into the phone. I've then taken a few photos and sent a secret message. Let's see what they can do with it. There are a few buttons to press to identify the phone, to disable the lock code. Extraction in progress, it says. And I just concluded the first step in which I have obtained access ah, you're to in. the phone. And let's say, let's look for the pictures. Here are some pictures that you oh. took earlier today. Right. That's my Here secret flower picture. Yep. I also sent a message. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Meet in the car park, bring the gear. So that's a very simple and straightforward access to the data. What we can further do is, using the same, same technology, operating a slightly different procedure, we can pretty much pull up the whole data that resides on that phone. And we can see here a sample of it, where, for example, here the call log has 166 uh, entries. Um, there are 269 chats that were extracted. So just to be clear, this is an example. This is not this phone. This is phone. not this phone, yeah. We right. did not go through the whole process. The, the, the whole process may take us some time. So How this, long would the whole process take? Uh, it can be anything between um, an hour to several hours. Now, I wasn't using more sophisticated messaging services like WhatsApp there. If I'd been using them, would you been able to get access to that kind of message? Definitely some of those services will allow extraction of those messages. And if you're a police officer, if I, if I drop my iPhone 6 and I'm a criminal, mm -hmm. uh, will this machine work with that? This machine will definitely be able to pull some of the information from, from a very wide range of iPhones. Uh, what about the new iPhone 7? We can definitely extract data from iPhone 7 as well. The question is what data? What is the situation? What is the situation the device is, is uh, at any given point in time? But yes. The brand new uh, Android operating system, mm -hmm. Nougat, that's supposed to be incredibly secure. Um, you're saying that you could get into phones running that? I'm saying that uh, our solution do provide support for a very wide range of devices, including the latest uh, Android devices, for law enforcement to extract data from. And who will you sell this equipment to? Is it any law enforcement in any country? We typically sell to any, I wouldn't say any, but government-owned uh, um, uh, or government-operated law enforcement agencies around the world. What about repressive regimes that are intent on uh, spying on their citizens in ways that many people would find offensive. Would you sell to them? I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, and I'm, I'm in no position to, to comment on that at this point in time. So you won't say whether Cellbrite will sell to Saudi Arabia, for example, or Iran, or uh, various regimes around the world which might be uh, oppressive? We operate under the under law, under international and, and, and the laws of every jurisdiction and country we, we work at, and this is what guides us.